let's take a trip through Remnant Publications and see how a book is made. We begin in the pre-press room. Computer technician Tim Yeager begins by loading a large sheet of emulsion-coated aluminum into the developing machine. Suction cups pull the aluminum sheet into the machine. Then a special laser head etches the emulsion side of the aluminum, leaving behind only what's needed for printing. It comes off the roller and a lifting rack brings the exposed sheet onto the other side where special rollers guide it into the developing stage. Chemicals wash away what the laser exposed. Out comes a plate ready to be used on the printing press. Nate Reed, the pressman, loads the plate into the two-color press. Ink is then applied to the print rollers. A thin coating of water helps the ink not to stick to the printing plate where it's not supposed to. Several suction cups and a pulling mechanism keep the paper flowing into the press. This press can print out 7,000 sheets per hour. This press is called a two-color offset press, and the printed sheets are called signatures. From the press, the signatures are placed on the folding machine where they go through a series of slots. Then they get folded in several ways. Watching this machine is really cool. The next stop takes us to the saddle stitcher. This machine starts by placing the folded signatures together on top of each other. As they continue down the line, the book covers are dropped on and the next step is where the high speed stapler stitches the cover and the pages all together. After being stapled, they continue down the feeder belt where they go through the chopper. There the excess paper gets trimmed and cut off. Another process for bigger books is the binder, but before we get there we need to cut some covers down to size. Now that's sharp! The first stage of the binder trims the pages and puts hot melted glue on the spine. Rollers help the glue to go on evenly. The cover gets stuck to the back. Then they are folded and pressed into the spine. This whole process is done in less than 10 seconds per book. Now that's impressive. After a short trip on the conveyor belt, they come to the last stage. This machine is my favorite. It's called the three knife cutter. It's similar to the chopper at the saddle stitcher, but you can really see what this one is doing. After getting cut and trimmed, the books are done and ready to be shipped. Now you have an inside look at how books are made at Remnant Publications.